I'm sorry, Miss Carew. Dr. Jekyll has given the strictest instructions he is not to be disturbed under any circumstances. May I give him a message? Just remind him that there is more in his life than his work. Myself, for example. A very valid argument, if I may say so, miss. He won't see me. It's been five days now, John. I'm worried. I am too, but you know Henry. John, I said I'm worried. I'll speak to Paul. Mr. Utterson, as you know, I am completely devoted to Dr. Jekyll, and I do not wish to judge him uncharitably. But there are extraordinary circumstances I, I feel I must make you aware of. Dr. Jekyll has been locked in his laboratory day and night for nearly a week. He instructed me not to disturb him and to leave all his meals outside the door. You have not seen or spoken to him at all during this time? No, sir, not once. Come, Paul, you'd hardly be disloyal in telling me. Yes, sir. Last night, I took him his tray as usual, and I noticed that yesterday's meal was still untouched. And from inside, I, I heard these noises, the strangest noises, and a voice I did not recognize. It was him, or what it was behind that door, weeping like an animal or lost soul, crying out for some sort of medicine. Poole, I need you to go to visit the apothecary and get me these chemicals. Now, Poole, now! Henry, what in the devil's name has happened to you? You look like the wrath of God. John, I don't need you to turn on me as well More than ever now, I need a friend Can't you see and don't you know I've been through hell Don't condemn what you don't comprehend Henry, I'm not questioning your motives here But is what you are seeking worth the price? You've turned your back on everything you've once helped you You're choosing to ignore your friend's advice you have your work and nothing more. You are possessed. What is your demon? You've never been this way before. You've lost the fire you built your dream on. There's something strange. There's something wrong. I see a change. It's like when hope dies. I who have known you for so long. I see the pain in you. Your eyes. There was a time you lived your life, and no one lived the way that you did. You had a plan, you found a wife, you saw the world as very few did. You had it all, the overall. You seemed to know just what you lived for, but now it seems you don't at all. Have your work, nothing more. Father, you know Henry won't just walk away. The only way he knows is straight ahead. Emma, you've not heard a single word I've said. My fears act is in over his head. He can lose control, and that I dread. There has been talk, they say he's gone too far. He's locked himself away in his own world, pursuing this insanity. It is his work. It's more than work. He is obsessed. This man is revered. Just give him time, I ask no more. His work's a crime to be forgiven. There's something strange, unless I'm blind. I see a change of a bizarre kind. It's not it all, don't be unkind. The problem's all in your mind. I work and nothing more. He is obsessed. This man is ribbon. Just give him time, I ask no more. He's 
chasing dreams he'll never find. I see a change of a bizarre kind. It's not it all, don't be unkind. The problem's all in your mind. Here I pray every day and remain. A young woman to see you, sir. The kind one cannot mistake. She is without an appointment. I can send her away. Send her away? Yes, sir. I can't imagine how she came to have your visiting card. I'll see her pool. I'm the one that you met that night in the pub. Remember Lucy? Lucy Iris. Um, what brings you here? Well, you said if I ever needed a friend. Pretty, isn't it? And this one, he enjoyed doing it himself too. Things like this, well, they happen where I come from. But you never expect it from a gentleman. Gentlemen? What kind of monster would do such a thing? I won't forget his name in a hurry. Hyde, he called himself. Edward Hyde. Um, why come to me? Well, yeah, you give me your name. I never had someone like you be nice to me before. Why didn't you go to the police? The police? You're joking. With him being a gent, who's gonna listen to me? I'd be afraid of what he might do if he found out. He ain't human. He's a beast. He's not like you at all. Sympathy. That I see in his 
his face It's a memory I know time will never Take care of yourself, Miss Harris. Yeah. <sighs> Always try. <laughs>